It starts small, just a spark. But in minutes, that spark becomes an unstoppable inferno. How does that happen? Fire doesn't just explode into chaos. It evolves over stages. So what are those stages? Well, first we need a fire. This step is called ignition. Heat will release flammable chemicals from fuel, which when mixed with the oxygen in the air, ignites causing a fire. These three make what we like to call the fire triangle. I go into more depth on that in another video, so uh, go check that one out, then you can come back here and watch this. Anyway, fire is a greedy beast. As soon as it's brought to life, all it wants to do is grow and spread, eating whatever it can get close to. This is the second stage, growth. Any nearby combustible materials, meaning it'll catch fire if it's given enough heat, will ignite once its ignition temperature is reached. The smoke from these items will begin to gather and fill the room from the top downwards. As more items ignite, they will release more smoke and heat into the room, causing a chain reaction until everything that can combust will. Eventually, the room will get so hot that the smoke itself will begin to set fire in a process called flashover. This is the third stage and generally takes place around the 590 to 600 degrees Celsius range. The fire is now considered fully developed. Stage four, there's nothing left to set on fire. It's already on fire. The fire will sustain itself until it loses one of the three components of the fire triangle. Once it does, this will begin stage five, decay. The fire has either burned away all the available fuel, consumed all the available oxygen, or the heat within the fire has dropped below the point where combustion can be maintained. The fire can also be stopped manually by removing one of these three components, and it often is. That's how fire extinguishers work. Now that we understand how fires develop, we can understand how to control them, which fundamentally is what pacifier protection is all about. If you want to join us on this journey of understanding what pacifier protection is, give us a follow. And leave us a comment to let us know what we should discuss next.